All right, earlier today I made fresh homemade salsa with a little blue, genius, food chopper, mixer, pecker wrapper. <laughs> and when I washed it, I cut my finger. Look, I washed the blade, I cut my finger. So be careful about that, goys and boils. So anyway, we're gonna make salsa, chicken breast, tenderloins, and big blue. The Elite Pressure Cooker. It's an extra big one, but we're not going to fill it up, but I'm just going to use the blue because it's blue. Big blue, little blue, and chicken blue. Okay. Chicken blue. All right, let's see how many we're going to put in here. I got a little rack. This is the rack from the Cuisinart, but I put that in there just to keep them off the bottom a little bit. I can't even put in there. All right, you want to come up and look? Four, nine. Man, I see. I just fill this up with twenty or thirty of them. But I don't need that many. I'm just using it. At least because it's big. Let's see. Nine of them. That's pretty many, but all right. Well, it's not pretty many. I mean, it is and it isn't. It's only for three people. Well, two and a half people. And now here comes my salsa, fresh. Remember, let me get my my tool that came with it. Tool, salsa. Remember it? If you didn't see me make this with this genius chopper, click that link up there. I'll show you. All right, now watch. So I use it all. This is gonna be good. You just smell it. Man, it smells so good. Homemade fresh salsa. Now I put it on the rack because I'm gonna put like a half a cup of water down there, and I want to keep my salsa. I don't want to dilute it too much, you know. But it's gonna be so good. That's frozen too. I gotta tell you, frozen chicken breast tenderloins. Frozen. So I'm gonna put a half a cup of water in this container just to rinse it up a little bit. That look like a half a cup. It's got a handy pouring spout too, see? So I'm gonna pour it on the side because I don't wanna disturb it. Mmm. Is that enough water? I'm saying there's gonna be enough mm -hmm. along with our flavoring. Get the lid. In pressure mode. Now for this elite, I have functions. So I'm gonna push chicken, meat and chicken for 12 minutes. Now if yours doesn't have programming buttons, just press high for 12 minutes for frozen chicken breasts. I throw some salsa in there. You can buy it from the store in a can in a jar. Pour it in there like any other kind of sauce you would. It's gonna be good tonight. All right, we'll be back when the pressure builds up and a couple minutes counts down. I'm gonna put bindu on there. It's okay, huh? See ya. It's done. Come on over. Let the pressure out. Dangerous up in here, you know that, right? When you're cooking. Alright, I'll be back when that pressure's out. Smells like chicken breast salsa. Mmm. Alright, pressure's out. It smells delicious. Oh. Salsa chicken breast tenderloins. Cooked to perfection. Mmm, you should smell it. All right, let's get it over to the plate. This is an emergency. Can't wait. All right, let's get these out of here. Let's put a couple on my plate. Let's see. Like when I take them out. Here we go. Remember, they're on the rack. Mmm. Double O. Mmm. Mmm. All right, 
See, I'm glad I left all the salsa all just on top. Put them on a rack. See a little rack in there. Mm. All right, come here. All right. Here on the side, we got some Uncle Ben's ready rice. That's handy too. That goes in for a couple minutes. 90 seconds. Pinto rice and beans. Pinto beans and rice. Perfect complement to our salsa chicken breasts. Now you remember this fresh salsa that I made earlier this morning or this afternoon. I'm gonna cut my finger while I made it. Cleaning, cleaning the blade. Don't that look delicious? Okay, so get yourself some frozen chicken breasts, a jar of salsa, or make your own. Pour it in. 12 minutes. Let's see how tender it is. Very tender. Look. Don't need a knife. Mmm. Look. Mmm. Mmm. What a delicious taste and flavor. Would that mean the same thing? Mmm. The salsa is so fresh. And so many delicious flavors in there. I said give Uncle Ben a try. Shout out for Uncle Ben. Mmm. Good job, Uncle Ben. OG. Dog wants something, you know that. Alright, that is just so delicious. Try it in your pressure cooker. I know. I'm gonna give you some. I'm talking to the peoples. Alright, peoples. Have a nice night. Enjoy your supper. Talk to you soon.